Okay, time for the checks. OBS is good. Reddit's good. Chicken Snug is good, as usual. I have a new chair now. It was my birthday present. Besides that, I'm not very good, to be honest. But hey, it's 3 out of 4. That's a passing grade. It is what it is. Let's just... Let's just get this over with, alright? So slash unpopular opinion. Never was there more of a lie than this subreddit. For those who don't know, the premise, the, the intention of r slash unpopular opinion is that it's a place where people can post what they believe, you know, is an unpopular opinion, all right? Pretty self-explanatory, all right? They post it on there, they explain themselves, and then they, they start a discussion. And ideally, the most bizarre or the most ballsy unpopular opinions are the ones that get put up to the top where either they clown the OP for being so delusional or for having such a weird take or the people may actually come to agree with OP because they make some really good points and it ends up shifting people's feelings on certain things. Unfortunately, that's not the case with this subreddit, alright? r slash unpopular opinion may as well be renamed to popular opinion because most of the top posts here are literally just popular opinions or well-timed opinions that reflect how a lot of people feel. Like, this guy respects people who walk out of jobs and, or any inconvenience in life, alright? And this happened around two years ago when doing all the upheaval of like the status quo when it comes to work, alright? Like I could go on and on about all the issues this subreddit has, alright? And it goes beyond just the overall meta. But the point is, r slash unpopular opinion is not really about unpopular opinions, at least when it comes to the top. Where the real r slash unpopular opinion lies is in the good old controversial tab, which has been removed from new reddit, so I have to do this on old reddit. This is where you get the truly unpopular opinions, alright? Because the controversial tab is basically where unpopular posts lie on every subreddit. The kind of posts that maybe they're not the most downvoted, but they definitely have the most comments or the most, the, 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 I'm not entirely sure how it works, but it generally does a good job at choosing the most bizarre posts on a subreddit. The kind of posts that spark the most outrage or discussion or just general f***ery. Like, what is this right here? We should place a curfew of forcing everyone to sleep slash stay home at night. You know what, I'm just jumping in, alright? This is what we're doing. Just reading controversial, like, actual unpopular opinions here. Get ready for a real unpopular opinion. Uh, I bet. Everyone should be forced to sleep slash stay home at night. Yes, we can make exceptions for people running critical infrastructure, emergency services, na national security, etc. But the majority of people should be confined to their homes at night. Why? Yeah, why? The majority of property crime slash theft slash rape slash take place in the cover of night. Those things happen during the day too, right? Anyone caught outside after curfew would be arrested. So you're basically going to arrest people for simply being outside at night because the only thing people do outside during nighttime is commit crime. A lot of health problems are caused by lack of sleep. What does health... What? How does that help with people with like insomnia who literally can't sleep. People in general are overworked and forced to work long hours. That is not great for the human body but also for mental health. This would force employers to let their employees go home whenever the sun set. No more late nights. Um, by far the most important reason is that this would solve the energy sto- what? Energy storage problem? Stopping climate change. So this guy is basically asking for martial law, basically, because health issues and working and climate change, like what? Well, at the very least, this is more like it, all right? A truly unpopular opinion with bizarre explanations of it. Let's see. Yeah, same. I love martial law for no reason. Clearly, it's for the benefit of the health service. Like, this is just gonna cause a lot more of a headache and more resources for the government, you know, that they have to waste on, you know, enforcing this shit just to protect... Yeah, th this is weird. Netflix cracking down on password sharing is reasonable. Okay, so this guy is basically arguing that Netflix is falling apart solely because of password sharing, which... Have you watched anything on Netflix recently? 
It's basically a ghost town right now, alright? At least from what I've heard of it. I don't have Netflix, I don't really watch Netflix or TV or anything like that. My Netflix is YouTube, which has its own issues, but at least it's not dying like Netflix. I think that the live action Disney remakes are better than the originals. I say this because animation is uh, Pixar would have you believe otherwise. Live action, there's CGI fests, alright? The remakes are supposed to improve the- they don't. They're literally just lazy attempts at just keeping the IPs so that they don't lose them. Like, is this a troll? I, I have a big feeling that this is a troll. Like, this guy seems really emphatic about, like, here's the hoping the remakes displace the originals. What the f- Yeah, this strikes me as a troll. Why is the AC running? It's fucking freezing in here. Yeah, so... Okay, like, half a minute later, the AC just shut off. Like, okay. Chopsticks are stupid, alright? Every other utensil that has ever been invented is more useful when eating food than chopsticks. Why even bother with utensils, alright? Screw utensils, eat with your hands. Yeah, this guy. Your child should know basic... Gun safety, yeah, I agree. Wait, by the age of seven? What? Bro, that's kind of young for like giving people guns. Like, what the f- If your kid doesn't know how to properly handle a firearm by seven years old, then you did something wrong as a parent. You should be able to put a loaded handgun on a table and your child should know not to point it at anyone and should- How about you keep your handgun away from your kid? That's basic si so is not letting kids have firearms. And like, the, he here's his edits. Like he's has like, like two edits, like three, how many? Like he has more edits than the original post. Cilantro doesn't taste good, just. <laughs> this guy did ask called cilantro fancy. All right, cilantro tastes like gas. I, I mean, I've heard some people say it tastes like soap or whatever, but what? Taste expensive? Where do you find cilantro ever? That organic ass Whole Foods salsa blend. Yes, the salsa blend at Whole Foods is the only place anywhere on the planet where cilantro can be found. Like, this guy uses his own imagination and uses that as a source to back up his unpopular opinion. And he's- he's talking- what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Or perhaps a member of a vegan all organic hippie cult. Edit, I'm not saying it is fancy, it merely tastes. F you can literally get cilantro at the store for the same price as like garlic powder or parsley. And the way it goes on about a fing cilantro cult or something, like. Also, isn't cilantro like used in a whole bunch of different ethnicities? Like, let me see if I can. Are you gonna. Are you gonna change it? Hello? Yeah, here, this guy says it. Cilantro is used a lot in China, India, Mexico, and other places where you can get street food for little money. I've been to a few fancy places and I've never seen cilantro because it doesn't go well with fine dining. Cilantro isn't fancy. So you have all these distinctive places for like the different flavors like fruits, garlic, onions, fish, cheese, cheese, wines. And around here where the meat is, there's like just cilantro right here all by itself connected to like one other node here right it's not fancy cilantro is not fancy thor love and thunder is the best movie i've seen in ages sonic the hedgehog 2 would like to have a word big corporations deserve the tax break that most of them get no they don't amazon alone provides 1.6 million jobs as a company last i checked so what about the people who are working minimum wage and now they have to have more of their money taken away from them from taxes? I mean, it would be nice if we all just not have to pay taxes, but like, we do, alright? That's the reality of it. Except the corporations just don't, they don't have to pay taxes because they know how to get away with it. And it's bullshit, alright? They, they do... <sighs> okay, Jeff Bezos, get off the Reddit. Spinach tastes... Wait, spinach tastes way better than pizza. Pizza is very unhealthy and gives you no benefit. Bro, pizza's delicious. Like, this guy's main topic is that spinach tastes better than pizza. But he 
explains it by talking about like the obvious health benefits of spinach over pizza or, or something. And when people caught him out on it, he added in an edit that finally addresses the taste of everything. And even then it's just like, dude, spinach doesn't have flavor. It's not normal to hate going to work every day and it's not a societal issue. It's about you. The same way fringe ideologies get a megaphone online and get amplified. Uh, hating work is not a fringe ideology. Like sometimes people don't like their work because work, a lot of workplaces out there are toxic. Most people enjoy their work, so that means the few who don't enjoy their work are just crazy or something. If you hate your job, try something new. Everyone is hiring. Or, yeah, maybe McDonald's is hiring, but like the people who can actually offer livable wages, they don't. The ultra rich aren't as tone deaf as people think. I guess you could say that billionaires are people too, despite the fact that half of them are diagnosed psychopaths. There should be no sports in school. I mean, I don't like sports in school, but I also disagree. This guy doesn't understand the concept of like extracurricular activities. Like, sports isn't just like passing balls around, right? And I'm saying this as a complete nerd. Like, sports can help build teamwork and sportsmanship and like, I don't know, it keeps people fit. Although I'd also like to add that you maybe shouldn't ignore the art. People, please. Stop wearing skinny jeans, man. What are you, the fashion police? Working out is unnatural. Animals do not work out. They hunt, survive, forage, which you may think is working out, but it, it may as well be working out. I mean, they are literally going big and strong because they hunt and survive and forage, right? They do all this work to live and that's how they get big and strong. A lot of people, like, they, they live sedentary lives, don't they? Like, they need the workout to, like, so, so that they can work out, all right? I'm imagining the OP in this post just being some greasy neckbeard with a constant supply of cheese puffs or something. Nationalism is important for a country. Ah oh, yes, good old, good old indoctrination, all right. There are two types of people in a nation. One who thinks their country is all best and everything is the best, whatever is happening, to blame it, uh, what? Number two, who understands the problems of the nation and knows what is wrong with the country and what is good with the country and tries to bruh, use commas or something. Jesus Christ. Bro, the wording in this post is just weird. Like this guy doesn't seem to understand what nationalism really means, or at least the connotation of it. Anything others- Huh? 76 degrees is too cold. Went to a family member's house yesterday, thermostat was set to 70, that's above room temperature. That's kind of warm. My parents set the thermostat to between 70, that's, that's still too cold? Yeah, um, that sounds like a circulation issue or something. Like this, you shouldn't be feeling cold at like 10 degrees or 8 degrees above room temperature. Prosecutors are the scum of the earth. I think someone got their boots smoked. Every single person I know that has ever been charged with a crime has been excessively overcharged. They'll take a petty crime and make you out to be some sort of career criminal. It is their job to literally ruin people's lives. You, you mean lives. That They do this to regular people every time 100% of the time. Yeah, nice absolute, buddy. Example, a guy throws a rock at someone's window. The charge launching a deadly missile. Look it up. It's a real charge. Uh, source, trust me, bro. Like, the point of the prosecutor is to make the guy look guilty. This is oddly specific, too. Like, throwing a rock at someone's... Okay, so in the edit, he says he wasn't the one throwing rocks, but, like, why does he... What makes him think this? If you do the crime, you gotta do the time, buddy. Spotify is trash. It's a complete waste of money when you have YouTube available. Why bother using Spotify when you can just make your own playlist, decide what songs you play and in what order, as well as have control over what you want to hear all on YouTube? Yeah, but then you have to pay YouTube even more than you'd pay Spotify just to listen to your music with the phone off. When even the free version of Spotify lets you do that. And also, YouTube uses more data, doesn't it? Because it's like streaming videos instead of like music. I don't like Spotify, alright? Let me be clear, I think Spotify is garbage. And if I were to choose between the two, I'd probably still pick YouTube because I'm already on there and it's a much bigger place to be. But even I have to admit, purely in terms of music, YouTube's just not the best, alright? Cats are gross and they make your whole house smell. 
Yeah, that's just about any pet. Eating sushi is nasty. Uh, yeah, that's definitely an opinion that will definitely get you some flame right there. I mean, I wouldn't exactly equate it to being a bear in a river eating a raw fish or anything like that. Raw uncooked salmonella, Ritz class crackers, smiling stupidly at each other. Mm. Like we get it bro, you don't like sushi. You don't need to make it out like sushi eaters are like cultists or something. Yeah, so those were some opinions, I guess. Uh, I guess I could end this off with an unpopular opinion of my own. Um, I don't like mashed potatoes. This subreddit is trash, alright. Enough said.